Hello parents, I'm Miss Freeman and I'm going to be teaching your child accent this year. My partner Misty Rogers and I are going to show you where you need to look on Canvas so that you can find important information about accent. Hey accent students and parents, my name is Misty Rogers and I wanted to take a moment to introduce myself. Looking forward to a great year and here's our information about Canvas. Parents and students, from the home screen, you're going to go to the word announcements and click there. I'm going to show you an announcement that you should have received Monday. After we go through that, I'll show you exactly where to find everything that's mentioned on Canvas. Okay, parents. So, the announcement says, all students and parents, please read the following information about plans, activities for the Accent 2021 school year. Virtual learners, we will go through this in just a minute on the modules page. On my modules page, we will have the plans listed for each week. When you complete them, these assignments will need to be uploaded so I can check them and give feedback. Work at your own pace during the week. Keep the due date and time in mind. These modules will always begin with virtual assignments for date for the week. You will have a new assignment each week that will open at 7.45 Monday morning. The due date will always be Friday of the same week at 2.15, but can be submitted before then. Submissions will always be through Canvas. Periodically, there will be additional assignments listed in a separate module. You will need to do these in addition to the current week's module. They will be titled Virtual Learners Only, followed by the name as the activity and project. You will need to make sure that during this point um, of virtual learners only, that means that in-house learners, you do not need to go there and complete those. Those are just for virtual learners. These are things that I'm doing in my accent class with in-person learners, but you need to complete them also. The due date will be different for these depending on the activity, but will always be posted once the module opens. I will always move these to the top of the modules Canvas page so that you can see them. Remember, these are to be done in addition to the virtual assignments for the current week. Examples that will open on the 31st at the Accent Getting to Know You in the Unit Idea Survey. Those need to be done and submitted ASAP. Head silhouettes. This will take a while to complete. The finished product will be placed in the front clear cover of your binder. A picture will need to be taken and submitted on Canvas to receive credit. When you return to Eastside, you will bring the binder with a silhouette to class. All instructions will be explained thoroughly once these modules open. You will not see them on Canvas until August 31st at 7.45. In-person learners. You will be completing different activities in class than the virtual learners will be completing at home. Sometimes you will do the same activities as virtual learners. These modules posted for the week are for virtual learners. However, if you would like to complete the virtual learner activities at home or in your spare time, you may, but you will not submit them to Canvas. They are not required for in-house learners, but you will be able to access them for extra enrichment if you choose. They are labeled virtual assignments for and then the date of the week. You will not be able to access modules labeled virtual learners only followed by the name of name as the activity project. These are activities that you will be doing in class at Eastside with me, so there is no need for you to have access to them. Okay, in-house learners that become virtual learners. Example, your parents choose to move you to virtual learning, or you have to be quarantined, or our district goes all virtual learning. You will become a virtual learner the first day that you miss school due to one of the reasons above and you will need to complete and submit virtual assignments beginning that week and continuing each week until you return to school. At this point you will need to refer to the instructions above concerning virtual learners and the way assignments are set up on Canvas. All learners. If there is an activity that needs to be completed by both, both virtual and in-house students it will be titled all learners followed by the assignment. If you have any questions, 
please email me through Canvas or Ms. Freeman through Canvas, and we will answer them as soon as possible. Okay, let's go back to the home page. At the bottom, the box that says about your teacher. You're going to go here for information about your teacher. This also has ways that you can contact us should you need that information. Okay, we're going to go back to the home page. And you're going to go to the bottom to daily plans. This will only have the lesson plan for the week. This lesson plan explains all the activities and how they are to be submitted. So if you are completing an activity and you forget, you can click here for more detailed instructions. When you download it, you will have the lesson plan that, we, that has detailed information about the outcomes covered for the week. Um, and all of the instructions on what to do for the assignments. You will go to the module box. You'll go to Canvas. Obviously, in Canvas, the assignments are going to be listed in order under that week. You'll click and open the assignment. Work at your own pace. Um, you will need to mark it up and save as you complete. Now, you'll only have one submission for each assignment. So, when you finish that assignment, you may upload it as a file um, and they do need to be completed by Friday of the week at end of day Friday at 3 o'clock. Um, I'll give feedback in the comments or through Canvas messaging once I've checked it. Okay, let's go back to the home page. At the bottom, we're going to go to resources. Okay, you're going to see three resources here. The first is your link to Seesaw virtual children. When you get back, we will send you a code as well as your parents. This second link is for the Mississippi Association for Gifted Children. And the third link, this is a very important link, 48 resources for parents of gifted children. Now, if you'll click here, parents, you're going to see many different links. There are things for just parents with information, and there are also links that contain extra activities should your child need extra enrichment. Okay, let's go back to the home page and we're going to go down to modules. If you click on modules, this is where you're going to find your actual activities that are required each week for Accent. Don't forget, if you click on an activity and you're not sure what to do, you can always go back to the daily plans box and click there for the lesson plan that will give you additional details. Okay, so when you get to the module page, you will see different modules. Um, the little arrow beside each will open it or will close it. And that's a way for you to keep everything organized and you can see it easy and you won't have everything um, you know, where you have to scroll in a bunch up there. So, if you don't need the beginning of the year packet, then close it out with the arrow. Uh, you can always go to the Welcome to Your Class, Where Your Journey Begins, and click on that, and it will take you to that page. Also, you will have, um, these are the modules we were talking about in the announcement. Uh, the announcement said that virtual assignments will be listed for the week with the date following. So you open it up and then underneath, these are the assignments and orders. You will have motivational moments, brainstorming, IQ testers. These are the three assignments that will need to be completed that week and um, downloaded, marked up, and then submitted through Canvas as soon as you are complete, um, have you, as soon as you have completed it. Okay, here is the box for only virtual accent students. These will only be available for virtual students. Um, these are things that we are doing in class, but we want our virtual students to do them also. That means if we have something in here on only virtual accent students and we have stuff, we have your assignments for the week, all will need to be completed. Um, virtual assignments, don't forget, if you're an in-house learner, and you're at home for three days when you are not on your 
at school on your days that you're supposed to be here. If you would like to complete these, that is fine with us, but you will not need to submit them. They will not be graded. These are just extra activities at home if you need something else to do. Okay, thank you parents. I think we've explained everything at this point. And if you have any questions, you can email uh, Ms. Freeman um, via Canvas or through her email address, which is tfreeman at clintonpublicschools.com. Or you can email myself, Misty Rogers, there's my email address, or through Canvas as well. Thank you.